Hi everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. Today is about different types of quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals. They are, some of these you're going to have seen before, I pretty much guarantee it. Some of these may be, well, quite new. All right, so let's jump in. Our first one, which is the one I'm sure you've seen before, is a square. I'm sure you know what a square looks like. I zoom out and you're like, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I did that right. And it's going to fix it. There we go. All right. All of these are squares. And I'm sure you learned this earlier that these are squares. You know what they are. What's the definition of a square? That's in geometry. A lot of times we need to know the definitions of things and it can be quite important. The definition of a square is it has four identical or congruent sides and it has four right angles. That's the definition. Four congruent, which means exactly the same sides and four right angles. If you haven't seen these before, when we do little lines like this through sides of shapes, if we are just doing um, just one line, then every other shape on there, every other line that only has every other line segment, use that term, that has a little hash mark through it and only a single hash mark through it, that means each of those is the same. We'll see in a little bit when it's what happens when there's some differences going on. Also, if you have an angle that has that doot doot, looks like a little square in the corner, that means it's a right angle if you haven't seen that you know, that symbolism before. Okay, so four congruent sides, four right angles, that's a square. On to another one you've probably seen before. This is the rectangle. Now rectangles, what's their definition? Now you can, I know, when you look at these, you go, yeah, of course, these are our, our rectangles. That it is a quadrilateral. All these are quadrilaterals. And again, I should have mentioned this quadrilateral. When you have that quad at the beginning, that prefix means four. So all of these are going to have four sides. That's the unifying thing, four sides. Okay, so a rectangle has four right angles. That's the definition. A quadrilateral with four right angles. That's it. Nothing is said about the sides. <laughs> My cat is having some blast paint playing with some packing paper on the side. I don't know how loud that is. I hope it's not getting picked up. He's being very, very noisy. So we have, there's other things that are true about rectangles. Um, opposite sides are congruent. And see here I'm using those I have one line, one line to show those are the same two lines, two lines to show, show that those are the same. Same here, one, one, and two, two. Doesn't really matter which side you put the singles or the doubles. Just the lines that have matching number of little t -t -t through them are matching or congruent lines. This is true about rectangles, that the opposite sides are congruent. However, it's not in the definition. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The definition is four right angles. So with that in mind, is a square a rectangle? Yes, it is. It is also a rectangle because it does have four right angles. Is a rectangle a square? No, not necessarily. This is a square and also a rectangle because it fits the definition of having four right angles it also is the definition of a square because it has four congruent sides. This one over here on the right fits the definition of rectangle because it has four right angles. It doesn't fit the definition of a square because all four sides are not the same. All right, the next one on our list is the parallelogram. That's fun to say, parallelogram. A parallelogram, 
Hey, it corrected it. That was a horrible drawing. A parallelogram looks like a rectangle. Looks like someone took a rectangle and moved like the top one way and the other the bottom way, like it's on a frame. Like these are little hinges. And they moved this whole side. They like grabbed onto it. That's a hand grabbing onto it and move it this way. And it goes, er, and you end up like this. Okay. That <laughs> really doesn't look like a hand. That's supposed to be the thumb. Those are fingers. There we go. That's a little better. All right. So a hand grabs on, goes, er, slides it over. And then we have a parallelogram. So definition of a parallelogram is opposite sides are parallel. It's a quadrilateral where opposite sides are parallel. Now, if you haven't seen the word parallel before, it means two lines that go on and on forever and never touch. The technical thing would be they have the same slope as the technical, but they never cross. They're going the same exact way. They can be going like this. They can be going like that and going, you know, any which way that they want to go, but they are never going to cross. They're just going to keep going. So that is parallel. When we have two parallel lines in geometry, we do little boop, boop, little arrows like that on them in the middle of them to show they are parallel. So that's what we're going to do here. So these are parallel and these sides are parallel. So that's definition of a parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel. All right. Well, let's look back at our others. Okay. Is a rectangle a parallelogram? Yes, it is. Opposite sides are parallel. Is a square a parallelogram? Yep. Opposite sides are parallel. Is this parallelogram a rectangle or a square? No, it is not. It is not a rectangle because it does not have right angles. So it's just a parallelogram. Okay. All right. Now there's a special kind of parallelogram. I guess we had this, which is the rectangle that got kind of slid over to the right. Well, what happens if you take a square and do that? Like I took this top part and slid it to the right a little bit. Well, then you get our, our fourth shape, which is a rhombus. I'm going to see if I can get it to draw. That's a pretty good rhombus. Okay. In a rhombus, it is a quadrilateral where all four sides are congruent. So it's a parallelogram and all four sides are the same. All four sides are congruent. So, but nothing is said in that definition about the angles. All that's said is the four sides are congruent. So is a square a rhombus? Yes. All four sides are congruent. Is this rhombus also a square? Nope, it isn't because those angles are not right angles. This is just a rhombus and not a square. This is a square and also a rhombus and also a rectangle and also a parallelogram. <laughs> it fits the definitions for all those things. It has four right angles like a rectangle. It has four congruent sides like a rhombus and it has parallel sides <laughs> like a parallelogram. A square does it all except the last thing. And the last thing is this. the trapezoid. Now, most of those other ones, as you've noticed, they have sort of vague definitions. Oh, I, I drew that one really poorly. Let me try that again. In that they have one sort of attribute that's given, but a square could still have them because it, there's this overlap. A trapezoid, its definition is it has a one pair of parallel lines. Ah, but here's the caveat, one and only one set of parallel lines, exactly one set of parallel lines. No statements are made about the angles. 
it could have a right angle, it may not have right angles. There's really no, you know, there's nothing that's said. It could also look like this. Yeah, it could also look like that. It doesn't have, it doesn't have to slope in or go straight up. It can also go out. So that is a trapezoid. It is the most unusual of the different quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals, that's hard to say many times. One and only one set of parallel lines. So it's the only one of these that is not, a square is not a trapezoid. All right. So that's our, our different types of quadrilaterals. Hope that was helpful. If you need help on um, area of quadrilaterals and other things, we'll be covering that in an upcoming video. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, if it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.